scrapbook layout and I'm so excited about this one turned out and it has lots of journaling that goes along with it um, and I just can't wait to share it with you. So this year I decided to join Load, which is Layout a Day and it's hosted by ScrapHappy.org and um, each day you try to create a layout during the month of February and the theme this year was Harry Potter and the prompt for the day um, that I made this page was what is something that you learned about yourself that you didn't know before that completely changed everything and I decided to journal about and make a scrapbook layout about discovering my Enneagram number which if you've never heard about Enneagram number it's like a it's like a social profiling kind of thing where you have a number and um, there's numbers one through nine and each number represents something about um, the person and each person is a different number and anyways I'll I'll share more about my journaling afterwards but I had this um, black and white photo or yeah this black and white photo of myself that I had taken it was like three selfies that I had taken with different faces and that really goes along with the journaling that I'm going to do about um, my Enneagram. So I wanted to use that. And then I also had this black and white paper, which I've had in my stash. I believe it's from Studio Calico forever ago. Um, and it was these big black and white, these big black dots on a white background. And the, the black dots have like different phrases and things like that. Like kindness is free and be brave and authentic authenticity is magnetic and breathe deeply and I don't know things like that so I wanted to use that and then I also wanted some color on my layout so I grabbed this gorgeous floral paper from um, Studio Calico as well as this like orange and pink paper that had these little um, crosses on them and so what I decided to do was make a 9 by 12 layout and I cut my black and white polka dot paper down and then I wanted to frame it with the orange cross paper and then the floral paper. So um, I cut each of those down to the right size and then I realized how much of this gorgeous floral paper I was wasting and I didn't want to waste it because I love it so much it's so pretty so that I decided to gut it which is basically like cut out the middle and then I also gutted the orange paper aka cut out the middle with my exacto knife so that I wouldn't be wasting as much and then I'd have all of these gorgeous scraps to use on um, this layout or on a different page so that's kind of what I'm doing now um, just cutting it down to make a frame that can go around that um, polka dot paper and then the other thing I thought which would be really fun would be to use my exacto knife to cut around some of those circles and then almost have like flip up so that they could flip up and reveal a message underneath them um, that would kind of go along with the story. So I just kind of laid my photo where I wanted it and then used the X-Acto knife to cut around those um, polka dots. And I cut out five of them um, just to kind of create a little extra dimension on my page. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some phrase stickers to put underneath those to kind of go along with the message. So while I'm working away on that, why don't I read my journaling um, before I kind of get into all the details of actually making the page and then I can tell you what I'm doing. So I ended up doing my journaling on a separate piece of paper to go next to this layout because I didn't have space on the layout for the journaling. So here is my journaling. Discovering my Enneagram number was like a breath of fresh air. My whole life I felt odd, out of place, weirder than others, and different. Part of me loved it, but the other part felt uncomfortable. I struggled to communicate with my family and was tired of being told I was too emotional. My desire to stand out in order to fit in just didn't make sense to anyone. I remember arriving at a friend's house in the dead of winter for Bible study. Lined up at the door was black boot after black boot. 
I smiled as I pulled off my brightly pink sequin shoes. I loved being different. We were at the McCullough's cottage for New Year's Eve weekend. When I picked up a book Tom was reading on the Enneagram, a huge discussion ensued about the new personality typing, main motives, character traits, things I had never heard of, as each person shared what their number was. I read through each of the descriptions for the nine numbers. When I got to number four, I gasped. The five or six line description was so clearly and identifiably me, more than anything I had ever read. It was like coming home. This began a journey of self-discovery as I read more and more about fours. My desire to be authentic and a search for identity and purpose by expressing ourselves creatively. We're self-aware, sensitive, reserved, emotional, honest, creative, and personal. But at the same time, we can be moody, withholding ourselves back if we feel vulnerable, and we feel emotions more intensely than other numbers. When we are at our best, we are authentic, compassionate, introspective, expressive, creative, supportive, redefined, and unique. While at our worst, we can be withdrawn, depressed, self-pitying, moralistic, self-absorbed, possessive, and temperamental. We desire to fit in by standing out. But more than that, I discovered the Enneagrams of my family members, and as I read about them, I discovered what made us different and what made us similar. I found new ways to communicate with them and, more aptly put, ways not to communicate with them. I learned how they looked at the world and their core motivations, and honestly, the last year or so has been transformative to our relationships. I know my mom, as a one, is critical not just of herself, but more not just of herself, but more of herself. So a sensitive, loving approach works best. I know that my sister, too, desires passionately to love others, but sometimes that comes at the detriment of herself. So I need to remind her it's okay to care for herself and her needs. I learned that unlike me, the emotional number, my dad, a five, is a rational thinker who can't even approach things emotionally. So if I want to best communicate with him, I should do it logically. So many things to discover about myself and the others who I love so much. So, like I said, it was a lot of journaling, but I wanted to talk about how um, life-changing it was to discover my Enneagram number. So that is the journaling, and now what I'm doing is backing those holes that I cut out because I had gutted the paper. There's nothing behind it. So I grabbed some of the paper so that I could add it behind there, and... Um, then I would be able to add my messages onto those circles. So I just grabbed some of that scrap paper that I had cut off, the pink, the floral, and the orange, and added a little bit behind each of the circles so that I would have somewhere to add my additional messages um, that I knew that I wanted to include on this layout. So because the actual page doesn't have any journaling, but all of the journaling is like an added um, piece that I'm going to put next to it. I wanted some kind of, not journaling, but some kind of words and stuff on the page. Now I know that the polka dots that are already on the page already have some words, but I just knew that um, adding some tiny phrase stickers would just take it over the edge for me. And I kind of really love the way that this worked out. Um, I decided to do a 9 by 12 page because I I was thinking I wanted to scrapbook in 9 by 12 this year, and I might still do that. I haven't fully decided, but I just love 12 by 12 so much, so I, I'm not sure if I can actually go this way. But I did figure even if I did decide to go 12 by 12 for my scrapbook layouts this year, it wouldn't hurt to put a 9 by 12 page in there. Like I like different sizes, so it still kind of worked for me, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, you do you, I guess. Um, the frustrating part of this layout is I stuck it down and then realized I put it on crooked and then I had to pull up that really sticky score tape that I had already put down and put it down again. Ugh, don't you hate it when that happens? Like you're trying your best to line it up and you can't and then you put it down and somehow it sticks and it's like diagonal. It's the worst. <laughs> But again, that's first world problem, so it's not so bad, but I just kind of pull it up, had to add new adhesive down um, because I, as you could see, really ripped up the page there. Um, but I managed to stick it down and you can't see any of the torn pieces after all, so it ended up being okay. And I'm still not sure I put it down straight the second time, but it's better than it was the first time, so 
I decided to leave it as it was. To add a little bit extra dimension, I just used my fingers to pull up the edges around the black and white polka dot paper and then around that orange cross paper as well, just to kind of like make it so it wasn't as neat and tidy. And then what I wanted to do was create like a photo mat for my photos here. So I grabbed the pink paper, the orange paper, and the floral paper, the ones I've already been using, and I'm going to um, adhere my photo onto that and then it'll just give it a little extra color and pop on the page. Because the page is pretty black and white, other than the frame around the outside, I wanted there to be um, a little bit of color. And the pink paper that I'm using there that you see is the same paper that I'm gonna use for my journaling piece that I put on the side. The piece that I put on the side is 12 inches long and it is four and a half inches wide and I kind of cut it into a tag shape and so it's kind of like there will be a tag with journaling next to my page and it with that pink paper so it matches the entire layout. So like I said I wanted the photos for this page to kind of go along with the idea of being an Enneagram 4 and how Enneagram 4s they feel emotions pretty intensely, like if they're happy, they're really happy, if they're sad, they're really sad, um, and we're unique and kind of our own selves. So that's why I included three photos with different facial reactions. I just thought it was kind of fun to include that on a layout. And like honestly, how often do we actually like scrapbook about ourselves? So I felt like it was a good idea to just make a page about who I am. And so I'm gonna stick that down and then I have all of my popped up circles all around the page and around that photo. And I am using um, score tape for this. I love using my hot glue gun, but at this current moment, I wasn't sure where my hot glue gun was. So score tape it is. <laughs> um, and so I'm just going to stick that down on the page and then I'll be able to add other things around it. Um, one of my circles kind of fell off, so I'm going to have to find a way to adhere that back down. And I realized that not only did it fall off, I also didn't have any paper behind it. Not sure how I missed one of the circles, but I somehow did. So I just grabbed some more of that orange paper with the crosses on it. And then what I'm going to do to make the circle work is I ended up bending half of it back, as you can see, and then just adding adhesive on the little bend piece. Um, so it's a little different than the other circles, but in the grand scheme of things, you can't really tell other than me right now telling you that it did that. So what I wanted to do next was to figure out what I wanted to do with those circles that I had popped up and um, also to think through a title. So I decided that my title is going to be I am or I'm a four. And so I just wanted to go through my letter stickers to see what I could find. And I found these Felicity Jane white with black polka dot letters. And I love that font. And I realized I had the right letters that I needed for I'm a four. And what I'm going to do is just adhere that down to my ruler um, just to see how wide it is. And then that way I can kind of put it centered right onto my photo there um, for before. So I stuck that down and uh, oh I ended up putting it just on a piece of plexiglass not actually on my ruler but that's okay. And it didn't stick down perfectly but now I at least knew where I wanted it to go and I stuck those down. It doesn't, I wondered if it popped off enough while I was doing it but it actually worked out okay like I didn't need to outline it like I thought I was going to. Um, and it kind of goes with the monochromatic kind of layout that is happening here. Um, I grabbed a pink smiley face um, rubber piece and I'm going to stick that um, on the side there. And then I was just seeing if there were any other rubber pieces that I wanted to use. And I ended up grabbing a couple hearts and I believe the hearts are from Felicity Jean and the smiley face is from... Um, freckle Fawn. Yeah, Freckle Fawn for the smiley face. 
the hearts are from Felicity Jane. I used some wet adhesive to stick those down. That did not work, so I actually am going to go back later and use better adhesive than that. Um, I should have used like red line tape or something, but I unfortunately don't have any red line tape here. Um, so that didn't work. And then I decided to use um, phrase stickers to go inside of those circles. And these are the snarky chat talks from Tim Holtz. So in one circle I put me, sarcastic, never. And then in another one, it's a beautiful day to leave me alone because Enneagram 4s are also typically introverts, not all the time, but sometimes. Um, another one, it's like, I'd like to announce I have no idea what I'm doing. Another one says she was tempted to cause a scene. And then the last one says, sorry I'm late, but I didn't want to come. Um, so I put those down. And I kind of love the way that they just add a little bit more about my personality onto the page, if that makes sense. And then I actually found this one that um, I thought was so perfect for this layout. It says, I... I have absolutely no desire to fit in and I kind of made that my subheading or title and I put that on top of the I'm a four and I love the way that that looks like it just it just worked out so well um, I did cut all of those phrase stickers down to make them fit in those circles which worked really well and um, because I felt like it was important to do that and then that's pretty much it for this layout I don't really add anything else I don't think so I hope you guys enjoyed checking it out, and I hope you guys enjoyed um, seeing me make a scrapbook page. I really appreciate you guys, and I hope to see you soon with another video. Let me know, do you know your Enneagram number? What number are you? Leave a comment in the box um, or below for me, because I'd love to get to know you a little bit better. And if you don't know your Enneagram number, I will leave a link in the... Um, section to a quiz that you can take online or the descriptions. Honestly, I think the quizzes are not the most effective. I think the best way to do it is to um, look at the descriptions and see what feels like the most like you. But yeah, I'll leave a link for you guys below. Other than that, thanks so much for joining me and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. Oh, what a day, what a day it's been. Seems like everybody is staring and laughing at me You know I could have been a painter